We've been pumping into heat, and that's all thanks to a big ridge of high pressure. That ridge of high pressure delivering the heat for the next couple of days. We actually start to break down the ridge just a little bit by the mid to later half of the week, and temperatures will try to get back down to the normal range as we take a live look in Idaho Falls. Yeah, we are just baking in the heat right now with highs into those mid 90s this afternoon in IF and close to 100 degrees in Pocatello. Last check at the airport, we're down to 99. Yeah, but it was 100 just a bit ago. We got 95 in Preston, 93 right now in Blackfoot, and the same for Rexburg with 99 in Twin Falls, mid 90s in Salmon, 85 in Jackson, and 90. In Boise. Got a few thunderstorms, like I mentioned, building north of Salmon into western Montana, but it's generally going to be a dry, hot forecast for your Monday. We got this strong ridge of high pressure, and we got that southern flow coming up here from the desert southwest, keeping our temperatures elevated. Looking along the west coast, however, you see that low that's spinning up some shower action near Washington State and Oregon, at least the coastline there. That low is going to try to push back a little bit on this ridge of high pressure. As it does so, we actually flatten out the ridge just a smidge as we get into Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. That's going to do a couple of things. First of all, it's going to add a little bit more moisture into central and northern Idaho here over the coming days. Plus, it's going to take away some of the heat and we are expecting to see the temperatures come down just a little bit in that extended outlook, which you will see here, but it's still going to be pretty hot outside. In fact, I want to show you the Vipercast. This is the temperature model for tonight going in through your Monday and numbers back into the mild 50s and 60s tonight, but we're going to be right back at it. Upper 90s around the lower Snake River Plain for Pocatello, close to the century mark for Twin Falls, and we'll be hanging out in the mid 90s tomorrow for IF. Mid 80s around Island Park tomorrow. Temperatures are coming down just a little bit more into Tuesday. Again, we're going to work on some of that moisture across areas of central Idaho and northern Idaho. And by Tuesday afternoon, we're down still into the 90s, but just down a few degrees, and we'll have this slow, steady trend downward just a little bit on our way into this approach weekend. We've got a few showers though Tuesday night getting into north central Idaho up through the Panhandle and up through western Montana. Also tonight we're going to have some breezy conditions out there tonight and tomorrow. This could actually help out the comfort level uh, because we actually will be bringing in wind from the south that's pushing in the heat but when you get winds at 10 to 15 you can open the window let a breeze come through the house and kind of help cool things off just a bit. So we will have some breezy conditions tomorrow afternoon uh, from the mountains to the valleys we'll be dealing with winds at around 10 to 15 gusts around 25. 90 six for the high tomorrow in Malad City with a high of 88 in Lava. Highs in Jackson scoring about a 90 with 95 for Rexburg and 86 in Island Park at the Ranger Station. Expected high there. 97 in Chalice, 87 in Mackey with a 97 in Salmon and highs throughout the Snake River Plain. We'll be at 96 tomorrow in Idaho Falls. 98 in Pocatello, 97 in Burley and uh, mid to upper 90s around Aberdeen and American Falls, especially out towards Aberdeen getting pretty hot there with the lower 90s in American Falls. Eight day forecast coming at you now. Here's your highs. We're going to be down to 91 on Tuesday. It's still pretty hot outside, but then we're looking at the upper 80s on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday with again sunny conditions and a very low risk of shower activity. That's the Rexburg eight day forecast. Black with a high of 97 tomorrow with 92 on Tuesday. Upper 80s on Wednesday and a high of 90 degrees for Thursday. Uh, going over to Salmon. Highs here at 97 tomorrow. Pretty hot in central Idaho valleys. Then we're down to the lower 90s on Tuesday. That's still pretty toasty out there, but you'll notice the temperature is trying to wean back a little bit into the upper 80s by Wednesday and Thursday. Even Jackson starting to come back down with temperatures, but still warm. It's going to be hot out there for Jackson Sanders with highs peaking around 90 degrees for tomorrow and Tuesday, 88 for Wednesday. And then temperatures coming down into those mid to upper 80s closer to the weekend. Pocatello, here's your eight day forecast. 98 degrees tomorrow, down to about a 94 on Tuesday, 90 on Wednesday, and we'll hang into those low 90s for Thursday and Friday, trying to pick back up to 96 by next Saturday. Idaho Falls got you at 95 for tomorrow down to a 91 on Tuesday. When we say winds on that eight day, we're talking winds at around 10 to 15 gusts around 25. We carry those winds through Tuesday with highs in the upper 80s on Wednesday and Thursday. So Bree, yep, still needing that AC all throughout next week. Yeah. Even though the temperatures are coming down just a little bit, it's not much of a difference between